Hello, welcome back. My name is Charles. And I'm Warren. And today we're going to be talking about why installing your own system is not such a great idea. You know, Charles, I consider myself pretty handy. I've changed a few outlets at home uh, and, and done some electrical work in my own home. Why wouldn't I be able to install a solar system? Yeah, solar is one thing I will say is not a great idea to do it on your own. That's not just because I install solar and I believe in solar. I really think there's more to it than most people consider. It is not just installing panels. If it was just putting install in panels on a roof, on the ground, I would say have at it, go for it. So let's talk about some of the complexities involved in installing solar. First of all, regardless of whether you're putting it on the roof or the ground, you got to know how to rack it or install it or mount it correctly to that surface without causing damage or roof leaks, etc. And even before that is the paperwork, just the requirement, knowing what paperwork to submit to the utility. You can't just connect a solar array into your main distribution panel and be good to go. You're going to have to get approval from the utility to allow you to uh, tie in that system. So it's going to have to be designed. You have to probably have an engineer. You might have to have a stamp drawing. Uh, so there's quite a bit of expertise. If you go online and buy yourself an inverter and a handful of panels and you think you're going to just install that, you can't just hook up a certain amount of panels to some inverters and right. you've got to have the right size wiring for the number of panels that are each connected to each inverter and the right amount of inverters for uh, that environment that also has to match right. the electrical panel that you're connecting it to. When we talk about SDRX solar renewable energy credits, in order to qualify for those in most states you need to have a revenue grade meter and so right. there might be components of your solar system that if not installed correctly or with the right components might cost you a lot of money or ongoing revenue in the case of SDRX. Right. And the other thing to consider is, is the danger of DC current. Panels produce DC current. So there's many electricians who work with AC current. They understand it. Maybe they know the wire size. They can do all that. Uh, but DC current is a, is a little different animal and uh, brings uh, inherent danger with it. The other thing to consider is warranties. So if you're going to install it yourself, uh, you'll have no labor warranty or installation warranty to make sure the system's producing correctly. Correct. And we also, most solar in, uh, installers have very advanced tools and technology to uh, diagnose issues right. and, and problems that most ho uh, homeowners don't have access to. So just to recap, there's more to it than what meets the eye. It's not just merely installing the panels. So there's the paperwork and the, the soft cost, the engineering, I should add. Uh, there's danger working with DC current, as well as the warranty. So those are things you should consider and why you should probably not install a solar system yourself. Absolutely. If you want it done right and a turnkey solution, use a professional, well-qualified solar installer.